Hello and welcome to a video tutorial in which we will weather passenger coaches. Yes, passenger coaches are typically kept in a premium condition, obviously not to scare the potential customers away. Uh, but they anyway have a bit of, of, of um, dirt. I think the ideal weathering for a passenger coach is that you cannot really see that it's weathering at the first sight. You can only feel it. So here are the coaches, the passenger coaches we're going to weather. These are very nicely detailed, almost like a piece of, of jewelry. It's therefore very important not to overdo the weathering. The weathering should enhance these cars even further, not the opposite. So what can be improved? Well, these ventilations here, they are probably picking up some dirt. The roof on this coach is uh, painted, but it's lacking a bit of detail. I want a streak at least on top of the roof. The boogies are in black shiny plastic, they need to be painted, as well as the wheel sides. Uh, we also need to put the same type of thin coat on this part of the car. Let's start by disassemble the wheels from the boogies, they need to be lubricated later. So I will use a burnt umber, this is Vallejo 941 and 950 black. The main part of this color mix will consist from the brown burnt umber and a tiny portion of that black. So I get a kind of blackish brown. I add some thinner. The thinner I have in my spray bottle is uh, one part isopropanol and nine part water. This paint is applied to the wheel sides using a paintbrush. Whilst the wheels are drying, we will look at the roof. First action in, when it comes to all uh, spraying using airbrush is to clean the surface which we will spray. This is due to, you know, it's enough with a fingerprint on that roof and that will shine through in the top coat. Next thing is to mask the sides of this uh, coach. I don't want this. Uh, we're gonna put uh, matte varnish on the roof first, and I don't want that on the sides. So I'm mixing uh, thinner, airbrush thinner with uh, matte varnish directly into the cup of the airbrush and mix it properly. Yeah, like this. Now I'm spraying the entire roof, so I have a new layer of matte varnish on top instead of that paint. This roof was actually painted, which is, uh, I wouldn't say unusual, but uh, it's more common that it's just plastic. This coat will anyway make the roof look more matte. I think it's a bit too shiny the way it was originally. I'm continuing to use the same paint mix we used for the wheel sides, just adding more thinner so I get it like a wash instead. With a soft paintbrush, I'm just stippling on a drop of that paint and it will float over the entire ventilation intake there. There were also blue cars in the same type and uh, I will uh, remove the boogie on these as well as the red ones. I always remove the boogies because it's much easier to spray them. I would spray these using the same uh, color mix as the wheel sides, meaning a brown with a tiny amount of black. So it's very easy to remember now because we only used two type of color so far in this video. Burnt umber brown and black. And I give the boogies a good spray of this brownish black. Yeah. If the boogies has some parts for electrical pickup, remove those ahead of spraying them. Since we got this color in the airbrush already, we give this coach the spray on the underside here, as well as on the top side. 
using the same color also for the roof. If you're new to weathering uh, uh, passenger coaches, I can advise you to start with a dark colored one like this blue, because it's much easier to work with and the probability of failure is much less. Pack of soft pastel chalks. This is something I really recommend you to buy. They are available on the internet. This kit is earth tones and this is a dark brown I will use for the boogies. Just scrape some off using a razor blade or a scalpel and then you apply it using a makeup applicator. I picked this one up quite cheaply at Hennes & Mauritz. So I dip that into the powder and apply the powder in the locations randomly picked, but cover most of it like that. To imitate uh, dry rust, I pick a bit brighter. This is a uh, kind of tile reddish color. Scrape some off and apply that mainly onto the brakes of the boogie here. Yeah. Now we will coat this uh, with a layer of matte varnish and when doing this, about 60% of the effect will disappear. The reason for adding this uh, matte varnish is to seal this powder so it stays permanent. Otherwise it will wipe off. Now let's lubricate the wheels. I put the drop onto a plastic cover and then I dip the wheel ends into it and then I insert the wheel back into the boogie like that yeah now it's uh, nicely corroded and blackish from many hours in duty then just snap the boogie back in the coach yeah check function and it seems to be working coaches come with a coupling but the very few with the coupling you actually want. However, they are located in a neem pocket. So it's very easy to snap out the old one and snap in the one you like and are using on your layout. I can probably make a whole tutorial just on couplings because there's a lot of things to say about that. Coaches are missing the railings and some hoses and stuff. These could be found in a in a goodie bag. So they assume that the buyer of the car assembled these things onto the cars. So here are the rails. So let's just cut them out from the frame. Use a scalpel for this. And the tricky part is not to cut them away, but to find them afterwards. The railings on this coach uh, was just to push into the holes and they stuck firmly there. Otherwise, it may be necessary to dip them in fast set glue ahead of assembly. So, here's our locomotive. It's uh, weathered using basically the same routine as I did with the cars. I think uh, this type of modern or semi-modern electrical locomotives is also very sensitive to over-weathering. Here's a unweathered plastic boogie in uh, shiny black plastic and it's followed by our uh, weathered boogie. Now you see the details much better, it looks uh, much more realistic, the color is better. Here's our uh, painted roof with... Um, ventilations the ventilations this uh, pops out much better after treatment i just love the interior in these uh, sleeping cars you can see the beds the pillows and uh, sheets in there here's the same but for the bright colored car and with the railings mounted yeah i feel kind of happy with that that boogie looks much better now. All right. I hope you liked this video tutorial on how you can weather your passenger coaches to, to get a bit more realism into them as well. 
If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. Hey, if you have some questions or uh, whatever, uh, please post them in the comment field below and I'll do my very best to answer them as soon as possible. If this video helps you with your hobby, please remember that all of this is made possible because a few of you viewers are supporting the channel. So if you want to be one of the good guys, get on the Patreon and set up a support account there. Or make a one-off donation in the PayPal dialog found in the video description below. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and enable the little bell and you will get the notification once next video is published. Until that happens, see ya!